Jade has been confirmed to MK11. I don't have to tell you how excited I am about it. I played Jade in MK9 and she was absolutely sick. And now we get her into MK11. And she looks even sicker. I, I just can't wait to see the reveal. I haven't watched it. I heard about it, but I haven't watched it just so I can watch it and you can see my first reaction. Let's just do this. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You seem confident. Cowards will overwhelm you. Now you seem overconfident. Fight! <gasps> oh, that was sick! What is it? A shield? Ranged to her. Damn. Some teleport. Oh yeah. Ah! Oh! Finish him. How is he not sliding down? Oh my god! I'm sick! Oh my god. This is just insane. I have a good feeling that she's gonna be my new favorite character in MK11. Who cares about Scarlet? She's red. Red sucks, but green on the other hand. I mean, I like red. I, I have a lot of red t-shirts. And uh, I can't use green t-shirts because of the green screen. So I'm kind of sorry, Jade. I, I mean, I want to, but I can't. Anyway, let's just... What what do you think? I wonder if they're gonna do a Jade MK11 variation for um, MKX Mobile. That would be so cool. But this, this is what I want. I'm gonna play some MK9 Jade uh, later in this video so we can compare. But I think it's obvious right now that this Jade is so much, I don't know, better? Because she better looking, better graphics, better moves. And those teleports. And those, sh the shield, I wonder how the shield works. She was invincible while she was like stomping with the shield. That seems, it seems like in MK11 there are a lot of moves that are like outright OP. That seem to be unfair, but I'm sure it's all balanced. So we'll see when the game actually comes out. Let's see some more footage. So let's, uh, Steve, Derek, uh, yeah. take it away. Let's take a look at how Jade plays. Well, the first thing is this is kind of a reoccurring theme is she's never used her staff more. It's a lot of her moves now use the staff. She does a lot of moves where she uses the staff along with punching and kicking. That's good. She uses it. She also uses her glaive more in a lot of her animations. You can see in her throws. Yeah, I wanted to make sure all of her weapons kind of came through, right? Like, she's got, she's had these things for decades now. Right. right? And you'd, you'd often see her use them in like two different moves. And right. as I break this game down, the, the more I would play it over the last year, it always struck me the range of the characters is really strong because of their weapons. And it, it kind of occurred to me, this is essentially a weapons fighting game in, in some ways with a yeah. lot of characters. like. It's way more of a ranged game than we've previously seen in MK. Like, you can see her down two is awesome. It's one of my favorites to use in the game. It, de it definitely uh, covers a lot of Yeah, it's a very, very <laughs> good move. So I'll go over just a few of her normals that I think are core. I think her back two. The wiggly stick. Yeah, the wiggly stick <laughs> is extremely fast, multiple hits, really easy to, you see it, hit confirm it into a special move. Good damage. It's an awesome whiff punisher. Oh, yeah. And I mean, it's definitely there to keep 
keep the distance, right? Exactly. Like, I have this much space at all times. When she's hovering around this range, if you think you're going to hit a button or with an attack, you're in a lot of trouble. Yep. It is a high, so if they do like a down four under it or they can duck it, it's going to whiff, but it's awesome for controlling this upper level, like, chest area space. There's some really incredible stuff just with how the staff moves. Like, the animators, like, just a lot of the, the moves that the staff make, the little just micro moves are I, so visible and cool. Shout outs too to the audio team. I love the clank, clank, clank the staff moves me. Mm. So another one I wanted to show is her forward two, which is a big long range overhead. This is actually relatively slow. It's over 20 frames. And I, I think if you're really looking for it, you can see it. But if you're not ready, if you're, you're crouch blocking for other reasons, you know, you think she's going to down four or whatever, she can hit you with it. Yep. She's not going to get a pop up. She's going to have to just do the full string or she's going to have to just commit to doing the shadow kick. But it's a pretty good combos. overhead with a lot of range. And I think it kind of complements what you were saying about her back too. Right. Like a lot of times I'll kind of hover around this range. They're looking for this. They're focused on that. And she can just kind of dash up and throw or do a jump in. And it's, it's kind of a move that keeps you thinking at all times. She's like a mid-screen character. Exactly. Yeah. Another one that complements that is her 4-3, which is one of her kick strings. It's this full thing. Now this is a great low. She can actually hit confirm it and go into a special move. Ooh. If she sees that it's blocked, she can stay safe and not finish it. If she thinks they're gonna try to interrupt, she can complete the string. That heavily complements her forward too, and it's significantly faster. It's just an overall great low attack. So if they're sitting there hyper-focused on this, they also have to worry about this. And again, that sets up jumping back, yep. walking back and zoning, doing a jump in. She really controls like that start of the range space really, really well. Yep. And one more move I wanna look at is her back three, and this is her key mid. It's pretty fast. She can hit confirm it again into her special moves. She can just <gasps> continue the string and be safe. How do they chain those? I the want to learn to chain those combos. I, right. I'm so like, bad at this, but this I'm going to learn. Won't stop MK11 is the game that's going to make <laughs> you me can learn. walk up, and it's really good range. And then that's going to open up, again, your throws, your zoning, whatever you kind of want to do. rest of her tools. Exactly. So I mean, we've kind of talked a little bit about that. So her archetype as a character would be... How would you put it? I would say she can shoal space, and that lets her play her game, which is very versatile based on what she wants to do. She's got some good zoning, decent mix-ups, some good block pressure. She can, and you'll see some interesting special moves. So I would say space control leading to her then kind of playing her game, which is now, tailored to your variation. How do you play your game? Well, that's getting into special moves and kind of show some of them. Okay. So. You always want to bring back the core moves when you think of Jaden. So the shadow kick's one of them. Yep. Oh yeah. It's it's exactly what you'd expect from a shadow kick. It's a high, but it's very fast. It has There's a second a hit. Yeah. It's I love the effect. A great whiff punisher. A great. Sh Sometimes I'll just be walking bat, and if the opponent, I think he's gonna do an ice ball or something, I'll just preemptively do it, and I'll take the risk. Right. And he might he might punish me, and and that that's a bummer, but I'll take the risk. <laughs> it's a bummer. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, her glaives are back, but. They're done a little different. You kind of took the spirit of the glaive, but they're now a slow moving projectile with a lot of wind up. But you can see they cover a ton of space. And that makes them awesome if you think the opponent is going to jump in, okay. like they'll get hit okay. by the tail of it. Right. Or if you think they're trying to walk in. So it's not like a projectile you spam, it complements her space control. What? You kind of I want to spam it. No, no. The mid screen is mine. Stay back. Right. Don't move. And then if they try to jump it and they're gonna jump early because it has such a long tail, that's what your down four is for. So in my opinion, her zoning with the glaive is really kind of to slow the pace of the match down, to then walk into the mid-range to do all the stuff we talked about. Right. You know, one thing we don't talk about a lot, which I think is really important, is uh, props in the game, right? Like, like first, hit props, first hit props or like weapons? First oh, hit props. not first hit props. Okay. Weapons and things like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of the characters who are in Mortal Kombat are <laughs> iconic, not because of just their character, because of what they carry. Yes. Right. Uh, you know, the the glaive is just, and the, the staff, very important things. And, uh, you know, big ups to, the, to the, the team that makes the props for, you know, helping create the character and make it even, have it even more depth because of how cool the props are and yeah, props the amount of props cool. they have to make. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot. Like, there's one for Jade that it's kind of similar to a fan, which is like MK2 when she was a katana palette swap. There's some that have like glowing energy. There's curved ones. There's straight ones. Like there's a million different glades. But all there's these like things put together, MK3 ones. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. All these things put together, they still have to match her personality. They can't yes. be like she can't throw a radio. Match. 
<laughs> no, I mean, she could. She, she could. could. She could. It would probably break some of the mythology. They probably don't have radio technology in Outworld. You I sure about, about that? that. Right. You are. You are the lore master, so let's hmm. keep going. The oh. last classic move would be her glow is back. She's fully projectile immune, has the snazzy purple effect, and any projectile is going to go through her while it's active. So classic. While she can slow the pace down with her zoning, it's hard to zone her because she can have this on. Right, and then she just gets in right on you. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Uh -huh. And so the last pitch move is still protection. Still Carrie, not, still which has good. the coolest <laughs> into I've ever seen in my life. Like for the most part, I'm just going to do that to people online. Like, that's all I care about. And she can amplify it into this awesome... I absolutely love the way she recovers how that next snap. Look at that. I'm marking out. The way, so <laughs> the, way her, the way her arms kind of just go to the side when she's done... Oh, yeah. ...is super just like... It's, I've never seen a more awesome-looking, nonchalant neck yes. break. It's effortless. True she's story. Epic. I actually accidentally hit Aaron using a Japanese like wall scroll rolled up and pretending to do one of her normals. I accidentally hit him in the QA lab. <laughs> well, it's... So, let's go over some of the loadout moves I gave her. Right. I started with my personal one I like to use, which is a zoning variation. Yeah. And I know you like these ones too. I so she has an upload. Up. Okay. And if she meter burns it, it's great. She, uh, sorry, amplifies, she gets a second one. Right. This move dominates the air. Yes. If you want to jump, if you you're, can't. You, yeah, you are in a lot of trouble. And they, it's, they stay up there for a while too, right? So I mean, oh, it's yeah. like, you're, you're being pushed down for and quite some pretty time. She's not controlling. God, you get away so from her! she's free to do these, and they, the arc is automatic, and then if you're hit, you can see you get a big hick reaction, you can go for shadow kick and stuff like that. Yep. I love this move. She also has an air glaive that goes straight down, and that's a double one. You can use this to fake out jump ins, to jump back, and if they whiff a normal, you do it. It's to stay in the air longer. Yeah, exactly. To go over ground pounds or yep. whatever. And then the last move in this, I also really like, is a extremely quick low projectile. The Adidas wow. Spock. Yeah, this is a brand new move, and I think it's great again for space control. If especially if you have them looking for the overhead. She seems and honestly OP. And I'm playing of it. Her. You can just do this to get. Knock them down for a little bit, chip damage. You're literally controlling every aspect of the fight when you have this setup. Yeah. Like, you can go low, you can go up, like, you're controlling everything. Stream chat was confused. Uh, Aaron, Aaron Davis from yes. QA. Yes. Mm. Not yeah. another Aaron. Yeah. yeah. Dizzy. <laughs> Ex tournament player Dizzy. That was, I actually hit him as revenge for all those MK9 losses. Mm. You'll get over it someday, sir. One other move would be her staff spin. I forgot about that. Yeah. This is just a great combo winner. Um, in in the corner, you actually get a combo. Oh my Normally god, she's such really a combo. A For all her space control, she really isn't opening up with these huge combos. She right. just kind of ends in a special move. But in the corner, because of that staff spin, she can. Right. Like a lot of times when I have someone in the corner, I'll mix up her overhead or her low or go into throws and they're looking for it, and she'll actually get that 30% combo. So the staff spin's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I, I just like it for the additional damage, right? Like, you just add that to almost yeah, everything. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> right. no reason not to do it. And it also has amazing audio and looks cool. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that's Jade. Now let's play MK9 Jade and see what our actual differences are. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at it, Jade. Oh, my God. All the characters in Jade. MK9 had huge boobs. Even male <laughs> characters. I'm playing a ladder, but I'm going to fight maybe one or two fights. Also, the controls, I don't know why, but on PC, this game just, you, you just don't see your controls. It sucks. It sucks a lot. This will be easy. Oh, yeah. Jade versus Kano. Kano didn't say a word. So, uh, see, when I go to move list, it kind of doesn't... Doesn't show you which buttons you need to click. I don't know why, but it's Steam version. It just doesn't recognize my controller. It's it sucks. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna improvise. So there is a projectile, and there is. And I just realized they took sound effects uh, right from uh, from from the actual uh, like MKX uh, mobile soundtracks come from uh, from MK9. Exactly, all the, they just copied the soundtracks. God, her arms are long. Her arms are so long. Is it Raiden sitting in there? It seems like it's Raiden, but it's probably not. Oh 
<laughs> that was easy. What are you doing, boy? Two. Fight. What other move does she have? Ooh, there is a glow! Oh my god, they did uh, they did bring a lot of stuff. And this is an x-ray. Wait, Kano already didn't have balls? That's sad. I'm sorry, Kano, that's why you're so mean. Oh god. <gasps> there is a fatality! Oh! Let's try. Even though I have no idea which buttons to, to, to press, like, look. No, there is... Oh, here we go. Finishing moves. Up, up, down, left, and then something. Let's try it. Well, we won! I'm sorry, guys. I just... I don't know what they want me to press. I assume that one is is a cross. Apparently, it's not. All right, let's do one more battle with Jax. Ooh, that's gonna be great. This will be easy. Bring it. Okay. Round one. Fight. I will bring it, Mr. Jax. <laughs> Okay, we can actually uh, test which one is uh, button one. So, you know how we're gonna do it? Front punch, it's number one. So, let's see. So, this, this is number one. The square is number one. Okay, so now we can do fatality. Wait, what's number two? Back punch. I think this is back punch. So, yeah. Hit you with my stick, boy. Die, boy! <laughs> That's easy. Alright. I'm ready for fatality. Oh, he did get me. Oh my god. X-rays and MK9 are so lazy and fast. I'm disappointed. Oh boy, you thought you were gonna win. Well, not today! Yeah, actually, maybe today. I'm sorry, I just... I just lost! God, Jade's ass looks so nice. I wonder what, what kind of wh whose idea was it to make this MK9 so sexual? Like MKX and MK11, they look like they concentrate on on the uh, on the characters themselves, and like on on the on on the, on, on, on their uh, on who they are and how they interact, what what they feel. But in MK9, it feels like it's all about boobs. I don't know. I'm not complaining. I I mean, I just wish. Like, they literally have a fully naked character, well, almost fully naked Melina in this game, so... Alright, let's do this move again. I, not, I think I can do it now. Yeah! Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Yay, Jade, good Jade. job. All right, guys, this is MK9 Jade, and we just saw MK11 Jade. Let me know in the comments which one you think is better. I'm pretty sure it's obvious. Like, this Jade, she just, even though her boobs are bigger, she just, she just less Jade. I don't know, guys. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. I'll see you later. This will be easy. For the Shaolin. Round Goodbye! Five. Fight! <laughs>